<laughs> you know, your book came out a few weeks ago. Yeah. And I hope yes. everybody yeah. reads it. And you, you have become, I hope I don't insult you by calling you an evangelist because you <laughs> have become a preacher. You are preaching the gospel with everything that you do. Amen. And yes. I, I tell you, I just love what you did at the uh, Rose Garden. Yes. And uh, it, I'm still overwhelmed by it because I've been going to the White House for decades and decades. R Ronald Reagan, I used to go all the time there. And, and I, it was amazing. I never saw uh, to, to the world any preachers preach what you did That's right. in that moment. Yes. And then you took over. And why were you there? Why were you at the White House that day? Well, you you were invited for... Yeah, there's a little backstory on that, which I'll tell here. I think this might be the first time told uh, um, nationally. But since that White House, by the way, I've uh, I've done 91 interviews. So I'm from all the way across oh. the country from everywhere. But, but here, um, so I've been busy every day since. But what happened was, is when we started making the mask, I got an email from the uh, from the uh, White House and they and from the vice president's office and they said they go um, you know Mike would you come to a roundtable event we're having and I said sure well then it said could you write some remarks about what your company's doing to help during the pandemic and I thought well that's strange I've been to a, I've been into a roundtable back in 2017 with the president for a Made in America thing you just sit around a table and I said so I wrote down what we did and and. Uh, and uh, you know, just done this and typed it all up or whatever and sent it in to get approved. I thought that's weird. And I told my couple of people I was with, I said, oh, it don't matter. Just put some notes down there. I said, I'm not gonna go by that script any. You sit around a table and talk. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> we got there, we got there and I get into the White House and we get we go to this room. I got there early and uh, and uh I got got in there to the round table and there was like five CEOs, four other CEOs and me and the vice president and a couple other people on the end. And we started going around the table and he says, what are you guys doing? What have you heard out there? You know, trying to grab what everything, you know, you know, what's going on? How much can you make and all this stuff? Well, then the president came in and he sat down and he goes, he says, uh, he kind of went around the table again. Well, nobody was taking out their paper. I had my paper ready, and I'm going, okay, I guess, you know, I was right. Nobody's going to read their thing. And he leave, He goes up to leave and and to go in the other room, and I grabbed the vice president. I said, how come we didn't read our papers? And he said, well, Mike, he said, those were for the Rose Garden. And I said, we're going to be bringing you out there, and uh, you might be called up. You might be called up. So we went in the other room, and the president's talking to the C these other CEOs, and they're sitting there. It was right next to the room, right next to the Oval Office. And and I just got it. It felt like it came from God. I said, you know what? As long as I am get to talk out there, I'm going to write something. I give people a message of hope. I didn't just want to brag up on what my pillow's doing, what they had told us to send in. I mean, I, I don't need to. I do stuff, but it's a blessing just to help people. So, But I, wanted, I wrote on the back of the page, and... This is the actual sheet that I wrote here. If you see, if you can oh, see wow. that, all that writing, I mean, I have arrows. I have arrows going down to start here and go down to here. I kept crossing stuff off. And I was doing it so fast because we were, you know, the, the president now was already looking at his speech that he was going to read out there. And I was going to recopy this on another sheet of paper. And all of a sudden they go, well, come on, you guys, we're going to go seat you out in the Rose Garden. And I'm going, my prayer as I left there and walked out, was God, please let me read my writing. <laughs> and, we got out, and I and we got out and I'm sitting, they seat me right in front of the president, the vice president to my right. Now we had we didn't even know what we were gonna do or how this was gonna go. And by the way, I had been so busy, I hadn't watched any of these press conferences. So I had no idea what was going on. And I didn't know how big the audience was. I didn't know it was a basically a worldwide audience. Well, when the president called me up, he I went straight up to the podium, and I guess we were all supposed to go around on the left. So that, but then he they stopped the other guys from coming up. So at that moment in time, it was just myself and the president. And as it, as you, I read it, and I turned to him, and I said, "Can it, do you mind if I say something or uh, read some, or say something off the cuff?" And he goes, 
okay. <laughs> and he goes, sure. <laughs> and, and this is, uh, and then I read it and, uh, and uh, I guess you guys have the footage for that, but I read it and I didn't realize how big of a thing it was gonna be. But I'll tell you, when I went back into the White House, the vice president came up to me and he was like almost like in speeches. He goes, Mike, you, he said something like you've opened up the heavens. He goes, I'm, he was like, just, it would just make whatever he said, and it made me feel good because I thought, did I did I talk right? My voice was a little hoarse because I had had vocal cord surgery just ten days earlier, very serious surgery where I couldn't I couldn't speak for a week. So my so I was kind of hoarse up there, but I didn't I just didn't know if I had done something I should have done. <laughs> and he but he assured me, but oh, this is the best thing ever, you know. Was, and uh, when I left the White House, I had seven hundred and fifty text messages. I didn't know that many people had my phone number. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> 2,000 emails and it just went. Whoa.